Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. A purple Triceratops? Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were taking a break from doing Power Ranger reviews. Oh. People are gonna be mad at us again. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Slug. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you got a cool picture of Slug all like, horns. Uh, picture of Robot Mark, Transformers. Hey, guess what, this is from a movie, in case you didn't know already, on the side of the box. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots and your bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Dinobot Slug, the next Dinobot in the line, and he is a big purple triceratops and he's really cool i really dig this i love the purple again it's it's not screen accurate none of these dinobots are going to be screen accurate actually actually i think slog is the brontosaurus i think he's the only one that's actually painted silver so i think he's the only one that will actually be screen accurate but um i'm digging the colors i really do this is a really just really nice paint scheme with the, the, the purple, got some silver going on here, even a little bit of color there in the eyes picked out. The red looks really good. Some nice silver here on these spikes, a little bit of silver here on the face. Um, just a, a very nice design. Nice big spiky bony tail of murder, which is pretty cool. And again, you got the armor plating just going down the back. A little tampographed Autobot symbol right there. And uh, overall, a very cool design. I really, really do like it. I dig him. I dig him very much. And just looking at him, looking at him straight on, I mean, that's just like, that just looks offensive. It's just spikes everywhere. Just, ah! you, that's, that's going to look dangerous in the movie. Um, <laughs> and we finally saw a trailer where we see him. We finally see Slug in the trailer, and that's awesome. And dr apparently Drift is riding him. And there's another trailer that came out where, um, it's Grimlock, Slug, I think Scorn and Strafe, like, running down the highway. I think Crosshairs and, and Drift are, are driving alongside them. Oh, that looks awesome. I can't wait for this movie. But anyway, back to the toy. Um, very cool. Um, Articulation-wise, in this mode, his head, he can, he can nod. He can look down, and that's basically it. He can just look down. Um, his mouth can't open. You can get a nice roar out of him. His bottom jaw is made of the soft bendy plastic as well as the horns all three horns are made out of the soft bendy plastic for safety because you don't want to poke your eye out with the triceratops um the arms the front arms do have some forward and backward movement not much because this plating gets in the way and this gets in the way so there's not a whole lot of movement you can get but you know uh, enough there is a little bit of outward movement uh there is some movement here at this joint, and that's basically it for the front. Uh, the back legs are basically fused into place. If you move them, you're going to start untabbing stuff, and then it just kind of falls apart. Um, although you can't wiggle his toes. And he can wag his tail. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. You can wag his tail up and down. But yeah, basically, the way this works is these, these tabs right here, uh, what will be the robot mode hips, We'll tab into here, and it's not the most solid connection. It really takes quite a bit of fiddling to get it to line up to where these will actually tab in. And uh, if you move the legs in the slightest bit, then it just throws everything out of whack, and then you just have to refiddle again to get everything lined up again. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. But um, still, it's all right. Uh, still, very cool, very cool. Now, he does come with... Weapons, he comes with these two lance sword things, and they are also made of the soft bendy plastic, but there you go, he comes with two of these. And in the package, they're actually um, due to the little you know, slot that's uh, molded into them, 
they come packaged like this, like kind of like interlaced, like that. So they come wrapped up in a nice neat little package, which is pretty cool. Now there is storage for these weapons, and it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> basically, there are ports on either side of his belly. So you basically just plug them in here, and, and the robot mode hands are actually inside. So you're basically plugging it into his robot mode hands. And you kind of find a sweet spot there, and just plug it into one side, and plug it into the other side. And there is your storage <laughs> for the weapons in dino mode. Um, okay, sure. I will say this. I will totally forgive this if it happens in the movie. If when, they're, if when the Dinobots are running down the highway, Slug just, you know, ejects these two lances and just starts clipping Decepticons as he's running, then you can't complain because it happened in the movie. So you can't complain about this being stupid. <laughs> but, um, you know, hey, why not? Dare I say why not? But there you go. That's your storage for the weapons. In Dino Mode. Now for comparison, here he is with Voyager Grimlock. So you can see how they look together and how they stack up together. And then that's that's actually pretty good scale. Um, obviously the leader class one is going to be a lot bigger and, and way more out of scale. Really, uh, scale-wise, if, if you are a scale nut, the Voyager will go best with the other Dinobots. The leader one will kind of look a little off, it'll look a little too big with them, but, uh, you know, the Voyager is definitely, scale-wise, I think fits best with them, but there you have that. So now, let's just get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just untab this whole section here, flip the tail up, and then we come down here, we will, oh, first, you want to take the, uh, the toes here, and just bring them around, like that. Then just rotate the leg down, like that. Come back here, flip out the foot. And yes, he also has the Iron Sheik boots. Second verse, same as the first. Bring it around. Bring the leg down. Bring the foot out. And there you go. You got his legs all done. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to untab the sides of his belly. Right here. And you're going to swing them down and make sure they, you know, clear the uh, the dinosaur mode legs. Just swing those around like that, and then you're going to take the dinosaur mode arms and you're going to bring them down like that. So you have it in this configuration. It also helps if you take the dinosaur head here and just tilt it down slightly. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take this whole assembly here and you're going to split it down the middle, head and all. Come on, there we go. You're going to split this whole assembly and open it up to reveal the dinosaur, I mean, to reveal the robot mode head. And just bring that back and you see it'll actually fill out the chest there. Like that. Once you got that done, you just want to take these bits here, flip them down to complete the shoulder pads. You're going to come here, flip out the hands, and then close up the forearm. Same thing here, flip out the hand, close up the forearm, just like that. Now these legs right here, the dinosaur legs, there are tabs right here that will tab into slots right there in the sides of his waist, which can be kind of a pain in the butt to get in, but I will try, get in there, do it, do it, do it! With the greatest of ease. <laughs> greatest of ease. Uh, this is the one part that has been... There we go. This is the one part that has been quite a pain in the butt for me. Is just tabbing these in to his waist. Let's see if we can get this one in. Nope. Come on. Do it! Oh God. Come on, man. Come on, slug. Don't do me like this, buddy. Don't do me like this. Come on. I love you, man. I love you. I love that it you. There we go. So you tab it in. And that makes for a cool effect because it does fill out the waist and does make for, you know, little side skirt pieces. Hey, just bring the arms down. Make sure the shoulder pads are nice and lowered. And uh, there you go. 
there you have Slug in his robot mode. Um, <laughs> it's a neat little transformation. It's kind of simple, but still, it gets the job done. And uh, I do quite like the robot mode. It's very cool. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Very cool head sculpt. It's totally just a, a helmet, warrior helmet thing of awesome. A little silver going on there. And again, some good sculpting in detail. Would have been nice if some, some of it had been uh, picked out in paint. You got the little red bits right here on his waist. And again, it's it's a pretty cool design. He's got, the again, the uh, Iron Sheik boots. He does have very big, beefy calves. And he does end up with these spikes, like, jutting out the backs of his shoulders, which looks really cool. And much like Grimlock, the dinosaur head does become shoulder pads. And I actually like that look. I think that's really cool. So, yeah. I'm digging Slug. Digging him very much. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get some good movement there. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. Um, obviously, the shoulder pads kind of get in the way of full rotation, but you can get, you know... Some pretty good movement out of it. You got your outward movement. You do have a bicep swivel. You got your elbow joints. Um, the wrists can only move inward like that, and that's more for transformation than anything. Um, he does have a waist joint. Uh, hips are on a ball joint. You got your thigh swivel. You do get about 90 degrees of movement there at the knee, and you can pivot his little iron chic boots up and down. So there you have that. You know, he is pretty poseable. And, of course, he can hold his weapons. Oh! And then he can fall under the sheer weight of his awesome. Nice save! Right. <laughs> and there you go. Now he's all armed up and ready to go. And I dig it. I dig it. I dig it very very much. Now for comparison, here he is with his Dinobot buddy, Voyager Grimlock, so you can see how they look together. And you can see this scale definitely works a bit better, in my opinion. Here he is with Leader Grimlock, and you can see that he is like way, way shorter. He's pretty much like at his at crotch level here. So, again, if you're a scale nut, then definitely the, the Voyager is probably the way to go because it does look a bit more, uh, uh, you know, not so uh, much out of place. So there you have that. There he is with Evasion Prime. You can see how they look together. Here he is with Hound. Let's see that. Here he is with Bumblebee. You can see how they look together. And actually about the same height. I think Bumblebee like eh, kind of barely ekes him out height wise. There he is with crosshairs. You can see he's actually I think he's maybe a hair taller than crosshairs. A hair taller than crosshairs! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. And just the heck of it, here he is with Leader Prime. And again, the Voyagers definitely work better scale-wise. If that's something you're concerned about. If you're one of those scale people, you know who you are. You scale people, you. You and your scale. But as far as Slug is concerned, I'm digging the Dinobots. Give me more, give me more, give me more Dinobots. Please! These guys are very cool. Very decent figure. Again, I love the coloration. I just, you know, dig the design. Me likes. Can't wait to see him in the movie. Awesome. Really do. Would definitely recommend that. I would definitely recommend the Dinobots. If anything, you know, I, I've I've usually been leaving these reviews out. If you want to buy it, if not, you sense, you know, you save some money. But really, as far as the Dinobots are concerned, get the Dinobots because they all look really good. As far as I'm concerned, they all look really good, and I think they're all worth picking up. So. Yes, Dinobots, all the way, me like. So, I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Slug, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face!
Cesium salami, beryllium bologna. Cesium salami, beryllium bologna. Hey, hey there, dino dudes. What's going on here? What's what's all the shouting about? Optimus Prime, you settle argument. Which better, cesium salami or beryllium bologna? Actually, guys, uh, you're both wrong. I got two words for you. Pizza, bagels. Enough said. Prime out. Boy, he have one track mind. Not as boring as cesium salami. You take that back!